What do you think this is, people? It's a MacBook wire, and if I just plug this back in, it's no surprise that today I'm going to talk about the features that I like about my MacBook. Now, as you guys know, or most of you know, I've had my MacBook since Christmas Day, and I'm going to tell you some of the good things about it, some of the bad things about it, and just in general, try and give you a heads up about it. So, the, the MacBook that I've got is white, and because the camera that I used to record the videos is the camera that's built into the MacBook, the eyesight camera, if I just point to it, you'll be able to see my hand. It's the thing on the MacBook with a little green light when you're recording. So there we are, people. There's the camera. Now, the, the inbuilt microphone I don't use because it's shit. It, 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 it's just junk. The camera's good. The camera is one of the best webcams I've seen. But the, um, the thing itself is junk. Um, as far as OS X versus Windows, I've done videos about that before, so I'm not going to go into that too much. All the ports of the MacBook are on the one side, and I'm just going to look well round this way. It's got the power port for the power cord, which I mentioned to you before. It's got an Ethernet port, a DVI port, two, two USB ports, a microphone port, and a regular 3.5 millimeter out port. Um, bit of a downer about it. It's only got two USBs. The MacBook Pro does look finished off more eloquently, but of course. It's a um, it's a higher price point. Um, in terms of what they've done with pricing this, this Mac, I think it's very competitively priced as the Macs go. I got the X Display mod model. It's one gig of RAM, two point one six gigahertz processor. And it's a really good model. I'm hoping to upgrade it to 2 gigs of RAM. And soon I will be getting Mac OS X 10.5 Leopard. Because at the time when I got this, Leopard, at least in the UK, wasn't shipping with, with the Macs. Well, it was, but I got the X an X display model at discount price so it didn't come with it however um, there's a software up to date program where you can get Leopard for £5.99 when you've bought a Mac, a Mac and so yeah it normally costs £90 but because I'm taking advantage of this program it's 5.99 so the left disc is in the post my, my order and proof of purchase have got to be validated in Ireland so it'll take quite a while for them to get sent off it was sent off yesterday so and it's probably the weekend by the time you're watching this video because it's Friday night now so um so so yeah i i'm looking forward to when that comes it's a bit of a downer that it's only got two usb ports but i can't complain too hard it's got 
Airport Express, which is, it recognised my Wi-Fi network instantaneously. I was thinking I was going to have issues, um, as far as it not being an Airport Extreme, but it's a D-Link router and it interfaced with it great. So yeah. Yeah, because it was an X display model when it was up, up the store they wiped it for me obviously um so yeah a bit of thing I thought about the MacBook and OS 10 in particular is it's really easy to use like there's no latches or anything to open open the thing um it, it just opens um so yeah like i was saying it does look a bit plasticky compared to the macbook pro and it's got no real air vents the, the speakers are on the back the sounds pretty useless but so yeah um that's what you get a MacBook Pro for. The software suite is absolutely brilliant. Unlike Windows, it comes with everything you need to get up and going. Like iMovie, iPhoto, iCal, Mail, which they kind of have rudimentary versions of on Windows, but <laughs> the, the way they can compare Windows Movie Maker to iMovie is just pathetic and by the way what I'm actually using to capture and record this video is a Samsung C01U as the microphone and the Apple EyeSight in terms of the video and I'm actually capturing and editing this video with iMovie so all the titles and the, the lower third you see I'll put a lower third and it'll be down here down here so should be coming up around now that says lower third just to show you what a lower third is um so yeah all in all pretty sexy machine sexy top it's small and one of the darners I've found about it is it's a key for the eject so if that key came off then there will be no real way to eject it it's a really nice, it's a really nice super drive and I actually do wish I had another camera so I could show you around this 60 machine but anyway the power cord has got a light on it it goes red when it's charging green when it um green when it has charged and if I um flip the MacBook the battery has a battery gauge which is pretty handy if I can actually get it to work so right now the, the battery gauge is telling me that I have full battery and it'll work whether you're in or out of uh, it'll work whether you're in or out of your MacBook whether your battery's in or out of your MacBook so yeah I've, I've only got like 60 seconds left so thank you for watching this video please come see us live at tom.1sta.com click on the live page and you can watch me live on Ustream and 
chat with the rest of the community. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.